cars are coming in, the, the stealing coming. will improve. The when the stealing is... improves, they will still convert the, the, the thing to, uh, to dollar. To dollar. All right. The and finally, the more issues are politicized, the more controversies they generate. The Supreme Court verdict of the 2023 Kano State governorship election comes to mind. Governor Abba Kida Yusuf has denied entering into any form of agreement with the presidency regarding the January 12th Supreme Court judgment, which affirmed his victory, reacting to a document circulating on the social media, which allowed, which alleged that there was an agreement between the governor and the presidency, as spokesperson Sanusi Dawankin Tofa described it as an imaginary you know, place devoid of the truths. Did they, what's the meaning of this? What's going on? No, they were, after those governors survived, uh, the Supreme Court, this, the uh, social media people were saying, oh, um, uh, they, they had a deal with Ashwaju to let them be in exchange for support for him in uh, 2027. I saw Posts like that, especially on Twitter, you know, people just have all kinds of ideas and they, 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 they write about it. Kwan Kwaso has denied this governor too has been um, forced to deny that there was any deal with uh, Ashwaju. In fact, Kwan Kwaso has declared that he's going to contest again so that people will know that he has no deal with uh, Tinumbu. Normally, a president should not get involved in what the Supreme Court is doing. And if the Supreme Court, if the old men in the Supreme Court uh, respect themselves, because uh, they are taking in, in, in uh, law now, they are all recognized as men. If the old men in the Supreme Court respect themselves, they will not be listening to politicians. Give us the judgment based on what the law says. Whether somebody is a president or not, he shouldn't be able to call you and tell you that, oh, give uh, justice to the person who does not deserve it. I am amazed at the level at which we are going. People imagine that, oh, because Tinubu is APC, then any state that he wants his party to win, he can use the Supreme Court to collect that state. Mm. Is that democracy? How did we come to that situation that we imagine that a president will have such latitude that he can just pick a phone and call the uh, CGN? Ah, CGN, I need that state. Do your best to give that state to me. I mean, that's not, that's, not, uh, that's not independent judiciary. That is not even democracy. So the president did what he had to do. He refused to get involved. Now, having refused to get involved, we are being told that, oh, he signed deals with these people that they should work for him. Why do we keep talking about 2027 when the government has not even spent one year in office? Why are we obsessed with 2027? In every conversation, 2027 comes in. The best way a government can, um, can hurt itself and ensure that it is not focused on where it is going is to start thinking of re-election just after six months in office. You remember what uh, even uh, uh, Ondume said the other day over the matter of just moving a few departments of the <coughs> CPN to Lagos. He said it will have uh, consequences for 2027. Why, why, why 2027 just coming in like that? So early in the day. Mm. I mean, it makes no sense. Mm. The Supreme Court gave, in his view, the best verdict in the case of a uh, of, uh, Kano State, the president didn't get involved, which is the right thing to do. So uh, now people are saying that it's because he signed a deal. Which mm. deal now? Where is the evidence that you, you have that he signed a deal? Mm. So again, yeah, there's always this saying that if your party, the judgment favors you, it's a victory for democracy. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> if the judgment goes other way around. <laughs> it will be as if, oh, this travesty of ju justice and uh, this is not uh, the Supreme Court. They're no longer independent and 
justices have been compromised. You hear all sorts of things yeah. from Nigeria. Yes. Now the Supreme Court, they are done with the 2023 election and uh, governorship and presidential. Remaining, yeah. remaining at the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. You, you know, um, GDA, I was just listening to GDA, and I just probably think that the GDA doesn't seem to understand Nigerian politicians, quote and unquote. Because if you say that, how come that they get into office, they don't stay six, GDA? Once a Nigerian. About what is right. No, no, that's why I'm not. No, 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 that's what I'm, I'm just telling you. The Nigerian no, politician. No, the Nigerian politician, the day he's, he's warning, GDA, the day he's warning, mm -hmm. the man has started planning for the next election. And that's why they fail. That is why, that that's is why that. they fail. The day that, in fact, there's this saying that for every four year, uh, four year term for a governor, he uses one year, one and a half year to govern, and used to have half year to prepare for his next re-election. And that is why some people have been conversing that. Why don't we have just five years one term for six years? Six years. years. Six just do and go. But that is itself a problem. Because they will not use that opportunity to not... No, to not amass well. just, amass so well well so much. Why do you really? see them, what they are doing now is, why they still little is that because they believe they come for a second term. They can finish up the job. But when you not give them a six-year one term, then you can say that. But back to the issue of... But that is, uh, it, it, that is not true. If you say that um, there was an agreement with the president, uh, kind of, then the same thing could have happened in, in Plateau State. PDP <laughs> came victorious at the Supreme Court. They did sign an agreement with the governor of uh, Plateau State. They did sign an agreement with the governor of Abia State, who is of Labour Party, who also won at the uh, Supreme Court. What of the governor of Bauchi State? I'm talking of the opposition. The governor of Bauchi State is, if you know the opposition in, um, uh, in Bauchi State, the man that ran against the current governor was the former chief of Estab. Um, I forgot his Sadiq. name. Sadiq. Very, very thorough. The man was, in fact, in, what, in all aspects, he was really, really. But, the, the, but, in fact, if you look at each of the governors, especially from the opposition, after the Supreme Court judgment, you see them, when you see the first statement they say, after thanking the judiciary, the next thing they, they, they say, we thank the president for not interfering. I listen to each and those from the, the opposition. We need to thank the president, which probably means that, uh, which all sense of means that, but probably the one, in the past. But the one that no, asked the president himself yes. was interfered. Yes, yes. <laughs> there was interference. No, no, probably, no, what I'm saying <laughs> is, does it mean that probably those before him mm. have been interfering? Mm. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? But there is a new sheriff in town. The president, the current president I have seen and I'm watching seems to have the democratic to be able to carry things out. He's not the type that is ready to me. He has shown capacity. He merely has been sworn in. He has not shown himself to be the president of APC. He has shown himself to be the father of the nation, irrespective, which is why you see, even the governor, even other governors from others, when uh, you, see, you see PDP governor, the next thing, they're in Asoro. I saw the Bayesa, the Bayesa governor. Uh, no, 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 no. Yes, Bayesa governor. No, no, no. You did it, wasn't it? No, the one in Akwai bomb, the one of no. Akwai bomb. Yeah. He was almost going in and out of Asorak as if mm. the president is a, a PDP member. This was what happened in the past. So what I'm saying is that but we shouldn't discard for everybody. That is what I'm saying. The president is for everybody. He's the president of, an and he should door. open door. Mm. He has an open door. Let me even take it to him. The spokesman of Atiku Abubakar, haven't you seen him? In France. Uh, Daniel Boala. In France. He visited the <laughs> president. Oh, a retired spokesman. Yeah, okay, so okay, retired. Whichever retired, one. Retired uh, spokesman of uh, uh, Okay. That's his that, designation. Uh, but, okay, the former <laughs> spokesman. By my you own record. Yeah, by <laughs> <laughs> you saw him that last week, he was with the president <laughs> in Nassau The man has gone he back. Chased he chased the man to France. Paris. France. And he, voilà. that's what the, the kind of person mm. the president. And the man threw his door open. I was taking picture and the man with the gun was posing on Twitter and, and I was laughing. I said, ah, so the Muslim kind of Muslim politician is not is correct. Is it, is it, yeah. <laughs> Can you talk that one? No? <laughs> eh, eh, oh, God. Eh, eh, it's a... Uh, Yoruba is a say, Onibara and Bolebo. He's cooking something. He's <laughs> cooking something. So, <laughs> I think in the in the fullness of time we'll see. We'll see the result. We result of all this visit to the. It's just to. It's just to. Uh, it's not for nothing. Uh -huh. From uh -huh. from Abuja uh -huh. to Paris. <laughs> if Lima moves to London, he's going to join him there. Ah, kilo soy. Kilo soy. He has already said that. Um, if if, uh, if he gives him, he said if he calls him. What he's saying will lead to his return to the APC. So be it, and he has no apology. And that is also ready to serve his Nigerians so in the whatever capacity. The is no longer against. No, he's a president for all. <laughs> and and uh, the spokesman for Atiku 
can also be spokesman for the president. Why that not? That's what he's saying. Uh, no, but Sorry. today you've forgotten that. No, you, you've forgotten something. This guy was the spokesman of uh, the president um, The president at the initial the campaign. When Bola was one of the spokespersons uh, of um, the presidential candidate of FDC he before, wasn't before he now... The, in the camp. Oh, is it, After the vice president was people, announced. Mm -hmm. There are many people who felt that he shouldn't have been a uh, Muslim, Muslim. Mm. And some of them, the source of the hatred. He said his faith, yeah, everything is against it. And now his faith is aligned with yes, it. Yes, his, his, his faith is not longer. It's, it's not longer <laughs> a factor. I want to thank you, Siki. <laughs> thank you very much for having me. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. May God help this half. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. At the end of the day, man. <laughs> um, thinks more about himself mm. than the people in his bandits. So mm. uh, I don't blame him. Uh, if he succeeds, that means his efforts are justified. All right. And that's our offering today. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program. You can watch the repeat broadcast tonight at 11 p.m.